I'm not sure. You obviously you've been around for a long time in the fitness industry, so I I was always wondering if you had any run-ins with the the late Arthur Jones, the creator of Nautilus, and if you did, what was your your take on him, or maybe you have any thoughts on his practices? Well, I never met the guy. Okay, I never met Arthur Jones, and uh, I know people that know him, that knew him. Uh, I've had several extended conversations with people that knew the guy, and he was truly crazy as hell. Uh, he knew absolutely nothing about exercise, but there has never been a more effective marketing genius turned loose on this industry than Arthur Jones. Uh, Arthur Jones, and I've said this several times, single-handedly transformed the fitness industry into something that could be managed with minimum wage employees on the floor. You know, you, you buy his equipment, you teach some kid how to show another person how to do leg extensions and you take him to failure and then you go to the next machine and, uh, you do that over and over again. And all Arthur had to do was come up with an explanation for why that made sense. <laughs> and he would write millions of words about how this made sense. And uh, I, no, I don't know how much of that gib gibberish has actually survived over the years, but uh, uh, he published has a pretty big occult following. So I don't know that he does. I think most people don't remember the guy. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of the young, younger generation, maybe not, but they have never heard his name. Still around, yeah. Kim Wood and being from the Cincinnati area, he's he's still got a pretty big because you know Hammer Strength is over here and all that kind of stuff. So I, I think that's his, over here. Hammer Strength's his son runs that, I believe. And uh, uh, I, mean, I think they might have sold it, right? Could I probably? Oh, maybe you're you know, right. He he at one time he he came up with Hammer Strength and he probably sold it to some global corporation but uh arthur was in florida for a long time i mean he had uh he had a zoo down there great big giant zoo with a bunch of exotic animals and really? lions and tigers and bears oh my and you know giraffes and shit and, and he was uh he was uh uh really uh an iconoclast and uh apparently a terribly interesting guy I'd like to have met him. I think it would have been very entertaining to have a conversation with a guy, uh, and a and a genius marketer, just an absolute genius. If you if you remove Arthur from any discussion of uh, sports physiology or exercise or anything like that, the guy was brilliant. He was a he was a business genius. You just have to understand that he's in a different business than we are. And always was. So, yeah. All right. Appreciate the call.